Hey guys, unfortunately I'm not going to be on this episode because I have an assignment across the world that is calling my attention. However, you have a substitute that is willing to reach you and teach you, but they're not going to impeach you. So tune in, Miss Horton, step right up. What in the blue moon of Kentucky are the parts of speech? Help me, Horton. Tell him, Miss Horton, what are the parts of speech? Parts of speech include nouns, adverbs, pronouns, conjunctions, verbs, prepositions, adjectives, and interjections. So, what are all of these parts of speech, and what do they have to do with how we write? We'll answer that in today's video. Turn that frown upside down, and let's talk about a noun. A noun is a person, place, thing, animal, or idea. Proper nouns are specific and need to be capitalized. They are so important, they deserve to start with a capital letter. Specific nouns that are considered proper identify a particular person, place, or thing. All of these proper nouns definitely need a capital letter. Those include cities, countries, names of restaurants, names of people, song titles, and book titles. Common nouns don't need a capital letter. We would never capitalize cats, dogs, toys, or the word happiness. Ooh, goody, abstract nouns are my favorite. Abstract nouns are emotions and ideas. When I was in school, my teacher once told me that abstract nouns are nouns that we can't see or even touch. They might be words like joy, peace, hope, love, bitterness, anger, and thought. We can't see them, we can't touch them, but they're still nouns. Singular nouns identify one person, place, or thing. Plural nouns name more than one person, place, or thing. What are pronouns? A pronoun is a substitute for a noun. Did you know there are four types of pronouns? There are four types of pronouns, personal, indefinite, demonstrative, and possessive. So, what are personal pronouns? Personal pronouns are used as substitutes for male and female names or when the gender of the person is unknown. Singular personal pronouns are words like I, we, you, he, him, she, her, and it. Plural personal pronouns are words like they, them, who, whom, whoever, and whomever. Indefinite pronouns may refer to males, females, or even males and females. They do not indicate the gender of a person. Indefinite pronouns are words like everybody, anybody, either, neither, each, any. Demonstrative pronouns are used to bring attention to a particular person or people. Some examples of demonstrative pronouns are this, that, these, those. Possessive pronouns demonstrate ownership. It's mine! Well, there's a long list of words that are possessive pronouns. My, mine, yours, your, her, hers, his, their, theirs, our, ours, and its. Woo! That was a lot. Moving on to the next part of speech. What are verbs? Verbs demonstrate an action or a state of being. Verbs are written in tenses, such as the past, present, or future. We can take the verb run and use it three different ways depending on the tense. For example, if I ran in the past, I ran four miles. For the present, I could say, I am running or I run. And if it's going to happen in the future, I will run. Those were all examples of regular verb tenses. However, sometimes a verb may not follow the rules or a pattern. Verbs get a bit trickier in the irregular tense. If I said it in the past, I grew tomatoes in my garden. In the present, I grow tomatoes in my garden. In the future, I will grow tomatoes in my garden. Helping verbs do not express action, but they do complement an action verb. Example. James had finished his dinner at 
What are adjectives? An adjective is a word that describes, identifies, or further defines a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives describe how something feels, looks, sounds, tastes, and acts. Adjectives answer questions like how many, how much, or what kind. Adjectives are words like cold, blue, 27, bright, few, many, tall, or expensive. What are adverbs? Adverbs answer questions like how, when, how much, and where. Adverbs are like adjectives because they add details to speech and our writing. How can I know the difference between adverbs and adjectives? Well, adjectives describe pronouns and nouns. Adverbs describe verbs, other adverbs, and even adjectives. Many adverbs end in the suffix ly, li. However, don't get too carried away looking for all adverbs ending in a ly because not all of them do. Common adverbs that do not have the suffix ly include again, almost, here, never, now, often, soon, still, there, and where. Here's an example of an adverb. Santa noisily shimmied down the chimney. Here's another one. Santa Claus very clumsily shimmied down my chimney. And here's the last example. Santa Claus was obnoxiously noisy. Can you find the adverb in this sentence? It's obnoxiously. It has the L-Y at the end as a clue. What are conjunctions? Conjunctions join words, phrases, and ideas together. There's a neat little acronym that I use to help me remember what conjunctions are, and they are fanboys. What's fanboys, you say? Well, fanboys stand for the words for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Those are the fanboys that you need to know. Conjunctions are found in compound, complex, and compound, complex sentences. Let's look at some examples of conjunctions. I'm hungry, but not thirsty. I'm hungry, so let's go get something to eat. Pizza is filling, yet delicious. What are prepositions? Prepositions indicate location. They tell us where something or someone is. Prepositions are words like in, out, inside, outside, near, beside, between, over, under. Here are some examples of prepositions to get us started. Abraham Lincoln kept his important papers dry by storing them inside his hat. Where did he store them? Inside the hat. My pencil fell between the bookshelves. Where did the pencil fall? Between the bookshelves. Saturday is between Friday and Sunday. Where is Saturday? Between Friday and Sunday. What are interjections? Interjections are words that demonstrate excitement or confusion. They may be followed by exclamation points or maybe connected to sentences using commas. Whoa, where do you think you're going? Ouch, that hurt. Eek, I'm so excited for you. Well, everyone, that's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the parts of speech. Don't forget nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, conjunctions, prepositions, and interjections all have a part in the way that we speak and the way that we write. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest boards. Please check out our YouTube channel and head on over to our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.